Hey YouTube, it's me again, Lizzie, and I am the Discount Vegan. I make budget-friendly recipes and teach you how to garden, even in the smallest spaces, so you can save money on what you eat and spend it or save it somewhere else. That sounds good to you? Then subscribe and click the bell notification so that you know when I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. So on that note, today we are doing something sweet. Let's be honest, it's getting to that time of year where we want desserts. We want to be able to bring them to gatherings if we can. And we want to be able to have just delicious things for the holiday season. So on that note, peanut butter cookies, a classic, pretty much a staple and super easy to make. So if you want to know how I made these, then stick around. Let's get into the video. Okay, so this is everything you need for your cookies. There is one cup of peanut butter, a quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce, teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of alternative milk. That's your choice. I've used almond, oat, and soy. They all work. A cup of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, two-thirds of a cup of sugar, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. So this is everything you need. Let's get to baking. The first thing you're going to need to do is grab two bowls, wet and dry bowls. So your dry ingredients, you're just going to sift them in because that makes a nicer cookie. So put everything in. And once again, yes, even the sugar. So sift that through. Okay, so now that that's done, we need to do the wet ingredients as well. And I just take my trusty spatula Get all the wet ingredients together. If you have it available and you're having trouble mixing in your peanut butter, you can definitely nuke it for like, I don't know, 30 seconds at a time. And this makes a very kind of crumbly cookie dough. So if you're wondering, that's why. And now we just want to mix them together.
The easiest way to do this is just to cut into the middle and mix everything that way. You can also use a like stand mixer if you have one. But you just want to thoroughly combine everything. As you can see, it's a very crumbly dough, but you want to make sure that it is together. Okay, so now that that is done, it's clearly crumbly, but it's easy to pack together, which is what we want. And now we want to put the oven on for 350 and get out a sheet pan. Just take one tablespoon scoops. This is approximately a tablespoon. You don't have to have one of these. I just bought one as, well, I wanted one. And just take them. Roll them and plop them. Okay, now that that's done, I have a dozen cookies on the pan. I have more to do, but a dozen are on the pan. And what I like to do is just sprinkle them with sugar. You can roll them too, like you can easily just do this. And just shake it up like that. It makes that easier for some people as well. And what the sugar also does is it helps when you go to flatten it. Okay, now that they're all done, you just lightly press them down like that. And unlike me, if you have it, please put parchment down. That'll help you as well. You just want to lightly press them down, not too hard. Because they're still going to expand a little bit as well. Okay, so now that they're done, just throw them in the oven for eight minutes. Okay, now you want to take them out after eight minutes. Leave them out and don't touch them for another 10 minutes. This will help them become solid because right now they're just super soft. So wait 10 minutes, don't touch them and then we will have a cookie to put on our cooling racks. Okay, now that that's done, they came off beautifully. They're almost cooled down, but not quite yet. So gonna put them on a cooling rack and continue going. Okay, so that's how to make them. Here they are. They're all cooled. I'm like literally salivating. Let's try them. They're a little crispy on the edges, still soft in the middle. And that's childhood. Right there. They are so good. I really hope you try them. And I'm having trouble speaking right now. I really hope you try them. They're super delicious. 
If you do, then definitely tag me in your photos. I would love to see them. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.